Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory to God.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory be unto God in the church on tonight. I do want to welcome you back to the In the Church TV and radio broadcast. Yes, I am your host, Apostle Deron Shea Zorn with Divine Order Restoration Ministries International, where we are restoring the order of God, one life, one body, one nation at a time. And my God, we got a phenomenal topic that we're getting ready to deal with in the church on tonight. And so I am so glad and so excited that you have joined us from around the world throughout the nations. Amen. In the majestic name of Jesus, I am so excited and so ready to just have fun in the church on tonight. Um, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I do want to remind you for those who have questions, comments, and even prayer requests that you can call in at 563-999-1820. Two, four. Amen. In the majestic name of Jesus. Glory, glory, glory be unto God in the church. Amen. On tonight. And so we're just blessing the one and only true living God in this place for his faithfulness and everything that he is consistently doing in our very lives because you know what god just continue 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 to be faithful he continues to be faithful to his word amen <laughs> glory to god thank you jesus he continue I, I i can't stress that enough he continues amen he continues to be faithful to the very word that he has spoken over our lives. Amen. Glory to God. He does not rob us whatsoever. And I just love, amen, um, the Lord. Amen. In the majestic name of Jesus. So I do want, let me remind you again, for those who want to call in, amen. Glory to God. Um, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Call in, call in, call in at four. Oh, I'm sorry, five six three nine 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 one eight two four with your questions, your prayer request. Amen. Your prayer request. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. As well as any comments that you may have. Now tonight, Amen. Glory to God. We haven't jumped into our topic yet, but surely we're getting ready to. And I want you to go ahead and share this platform this broadcast on your social media platforms because we're getting ready to talk about an amazing topic on tonight. We're going to talk about labor. Amen. In the church, labor, labor, labor in the church. I just believe that I am in the midst, that I am among some people that are in labor who is just ready to give birth to some things. And amen, glory to God, you've been wondering, amen, why you have been going uh, why there been so much adversity, adversity in, in, in your life, in your ministry, in your business, in your finances. Why there have been so much adversity in the things in, in which God has called forth in your very life. But I am telling you, amen, on tonight, dynamic people of God, dynamic people of God, that God, amen, is getting ready to reveal everything to you. You're getting ready to know that you know that you have been, amen, in, in labor and glory to God and that you've just been feeling the contractions, amen, that it's just only been the contractions that you have been feeling through the things in which you have been suffering. Amen. Through the things in which you have been going through. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus, for surely childbirth is upon you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And it in the time is drawing near for us to give birth to the things that, uh, that God. Amen. The birthing of God's word 
in our very life. Amen. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. And 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 I, my question for tonight for God's people, because we have to determine and we have to make decisions. And one of the things that came in my mind um, mm. was um, for for the people of God was just simply this: Will you die in labor? Amen. And we ain't going to let you die. You are in good hands on tonight. You are with, um, amen. You you are um, in a fortunate place. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus, because you are with the spiritual midwife. Amen. And I don't let nothing die on my watch. Glory to God. Thank you. And, and don't, amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But, amen, you are definitely with the spiritual midwife. Amen. The kingdom strategist. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God hallelujah the blueprint builder and so um, my god so we're gonna talk about it but even with that you have to make the decision look will you die in labor or will you endure the pain so that you can deliver and give birth to the very things that god has called forth in your life thank it not strange people of God of the things that adversity in which you have been going through amen it is just prepping you amen positioning you in the place that God need for you to be so that you can give birth amen his word can be birthed in your very life and that your baby ain't breached hallelujah thank you Jesus glory to God doing the birth birthing process amen glory to god that your baby don't get choked by the umbilical cord hallelujah thank you jesus glory glory to god my god there are just some things that god is just uh preparing and doing in the life of his children in this very hour even through in the midst of the confusion in the midst of the chaos in the midst of of all the things that we have been going through and i'm telling you some people amen it just seemed like it's one thing after the next after the next after the next and we know that amen um the closer the pains are um glory to god thank you jesus um hallelujah or the contractions the contractions the pain or the contractions the closer that they are amen glory to god the closer that you are to delivering this baby amen delivering um the word of god for your life you coming a step closer to the manifestation of of god's word you shall see the promise amen if you faint not faint not faint not amen in the name of jesus glory glory to god so i, I i'm going to deal with we're going to talk about just so many different things on tonight in the church you know as it concerning concerning birth amen or giving birth amen or labor amen um, um, in the church, amen, glory to God, because there is um, a pregnancy, all of us are pregnant and carrying um, the very seed of God, amen, hallelujah, all of us are pregnant and carrying the very seed of God, and that is his plan, his purpose for our very lives, amen, we just have to determine, um, my God, that we're going to carry our baby, right amen hallelujah thank you jesus um glory to god and and give birth to it amen and so i just believe that for those who have made the decision that i am i'm, I'm carrying the word i'm working in the word I'm, I'm i'm doing what it is that god has called forth in my life but every time i turn around there's a situation and a circumstance here lately that there's so much has continued to come up to try to get me distracted to try to keep me from from moving and giving birth to the things in which god has called forth in my life but i'm telling you child of the most high god child of the most high god the reason why the situations and circumstances is coming up out of absolutely nowhere <laughs> my god glory to god that the earth is moaning and groaning amen glory to god thank you jesus hallelujah so that that in which god got on the inside of you that in which he has put in place inside of your belly amen glory to god that it is time for it to come 
forth. Um, glory to God. It is time to for it to be delivered so that lives can be saved, changed. Amen. Stronghold can be broken out of the lives of people so that glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So that chains can be broken off of the lives of God's people. There is a great purpose that God has called forth and, and, and manifest in your very life. And I'm telling you, we're just declaring and decreeing in this place that you, your destiny, your purpose shall live and not die. That you shall give birth. That you want, amen, give up in, 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 in the midst, amen, in the midst of, 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 of labor that you won't give up in the midst of labor amen in the majestic name of jesus and so that is very very vital that is very very vital on um, people of god as it concerns the word and the will of god for your very life amen in the majestic name of jesus so i'm excited you guys know i'm excited to talk about especially when it deals with birthing and so people of god th um thank you jesus i want to first just come here and, and and just talk about amen because it's labor day it's labor day and when i woke up this morning and god began to talk to me about labor day you know just labor day in itself and and, and he was talking up to me about the things that, you know, that it mean and how it birthed forth and all these other things and how it, it was brought forth to honor, amen, um, 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 the American labor and their contribution and the contributions to the workers who had made the country what it was, uh, made it to be strong and prosperous and the laws and the well-being of the country and he began to talk to me about those things and and those even in those different attributes and begin to uh, minister to me about you know even those attributes showing themselves mighty and strong in our very lives amen in the majestic name of jesus glory to god and so i was thinking and 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 uh, about those particular attributes and the word of god and the will of god for our very lives amen glory to god thank you jesus hallelujah and so i was thinking about the word of God, the word of life, you know, um, Christ said, I came to give you life and to give you life more abundantly, right? And I want to deal with some things in the word. I want to go over to 1 Samuel, amen, and I'm um, glory to God, thank you, Jesus. I just want to go through different places in the word of God where, where birth took place. Amen. What labor took place. Amen. Word of God. Thank you, Jesus. And and I want to also deal with some unsuccessful labors as well. Because I just know for such a time as this, there are even people that's under the sound of my voice. Glory to God. That hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That you was at a point of childbirth previously. Yo, at at the Oh, at the point of childbirth previously and and doing amen glory to god thank you jesus childbirth doing that labor that particular labor you lost your baby because of the pain and and, and because of un circum our unfortunate circumstances and 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 things of of that nature amen and you gave up on the dream you gave up on on the word that god had called forth in your life amen glory to god thank you jesus hallelujah but i'm just coming to to speak to you today and minister to you today as well that that won't manifest in your life ever again in this season and in this hour amen glory to god and that is time of a recovery amen as well as well for the laws in which you uh, are that took place in your life amen glory to god thank you jesus he said our labor is not in vain i'm telling you thank you jesus glory to god and we gotta believe that our labor is not in vain why hallelujah thank you jesus because if we believe that our labor is not in vain then guess what Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. 
will continue, amen, and, and, and working toward that in which we are to give birth to, even through um, the pain and, and, and the suffering as well. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Knowing that what we're getting ready to give birth to, that it's going to be a, make a viable contribution into the world, my God, in the name of Jesus. And, 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 and even as it's making a viable contribution into this dynamic world that we live in, that it's going to help somebody somewhere. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you. And it's going to destroy. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. The works of the adversary from in your life, your, your generation, your family dynamics, as well as other people. Dynamosiah dynamic people of God. God is getting ready to do some amazing things. He just needs for us to endure through the labor. Amen. Don't die. Hey, go to Messiah in labor. And I'm just declaring and decreeing right now that you shall not die. You shall not die in labor. You shall not. You shall not die while you are in labor. No. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Neither will you be sedated. Ha, my God, Osiah. Neither will you be sedated. Neither will you be um too numb to push this baby out, to push this baby through. I'm declaring the strength of the Father. Amen. The strength of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ among you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, so that you can when it's time to push, that you have the strength to push out that baby, amen, that seed, that word of truth that God has placed down on the inside of your belly, amen, in the majestic name of Jesus, my God, glory, glory, glory to God, my God, my God, there is, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. You know, um, the song we was listening to. Amen. Hallelujah. There is power in the name of Jesus. And I just want you to be encouraged to even know that, yes, there is power in the name of Jesus to give you the strength, amen, that you need uh, to give birth to that very word of life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. That very word of, of, of life that God has spoken amen about you amen in the majestic name of jesus glory 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 to god we bless god in 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 this place amen hallelujah thank you jesus as you can do all things through christ that strengthen you amen glory to god you have the strength to endure amen you have the strength to climb the mountain you have the strength amen to subdue the giant amen hallelujah that is trying to hinder you from giving birth to the word of truth for your very life amen in the majestic name of jesus glory 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 be unto god in the church on tonight amen in the majestic name of jesus glory hallelujah 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 we just bless god in this place amen in the majestic name of jesus my god my god well god is getting ready to release in our very life amen hallelujah 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 let us go over here first amen hallelujah thank you jesus so that was a couple of things that i do want to deal with on tonight um in the church amen hallelujah to, to bring us to a point in our life to bring us to a point amen um hallelujah thank you jesus in our life where um, when we come into some places of some understanding, right? Some understanding on um, the who, what, when, how, and why, and, 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 and all those great things. And the very first thing that I was that, amen, earlier today that I was going to deal with, you know, what are the things that hinder us from, amen, glory to God, thank you, Jesus, from giving birth?
some of the things that keep us from giving birth because that's very vital to know it's it's very vital to know amen um glory to god um what what constrains us from giving birth what are the barriers you know um in our life that keeps us from giving birth to the word of truth and so I want to deal with that on tonight because sometimes, you know, amen, we are word carriers. We're just word carriers by nature because we are born, right? We are born, amen, um, by the very word of God. We were created by the very word of God. It's the word of God that brought us into this place of existence, amen, in the name of Jesus. And so we thank God for that. So because of that, we just carry the word. We are carriers of the word. But God wants us to be more than carriers of the word. He wants us to be deliverers, right? Deliverers of the word. He wants that word, his word of truth to just manifest, to manifest, right? In our very life in our very lives and sometimes we have hindrances that keep us um from from giving birth one of the number one things that keep us from giving birth to the word of god or the truth of of god's word in in our lives amen glory to god you know it's one of our topics that we always deal with but it is something that we as a people we have to overcome because if we do not overcome fear whenever trials and tribulations show up our baby will always die our baby will always die whenever amen glory to God um, thank you Jesus fear arise and we allow it to take control over our lives, our baby will die. And so we don't want to be a people where our where our baby, amen, don't get the opportunity to have life. Amen. We we don't want to be in a place where we come to the point of childbirth. Mm. But we don't deliver. And fear can do that. Fear can definitely do that in the lives of God's people. And so we want to make sure that we're not bound by this this, this word fear. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Because we know that fear is not of God. And we also know, amen, glory to God, thank you, Jesus, that through the power of Christ, we're able to overcome fear. 1 John 4 and 16 says this. Um, um, 16 says, and we have known and believed the love that God has for us. God is love. And he who abides in love abides in God and God in him. Love has been perfected among us in this, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 18 says this, there is no fear in love but perfect love casts out fear because fear involves torment but he who fears have not been made perfect oh my jesus hallelujah thank you jesus he who fears have not been made perfect Perfect, my Jesus. In love. Have not been made perfect in love. 
And, 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 and I love that. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, even as this word of truth, talk about being made perfect. Perfect. Amen. Um, perfect in love. Because we, we, amen, we have to or we should. Amen. If, if, we're, if, we're, if we're going to give birth right hallelujah thank you jesus glory to god we're going to give birth to what it is that god has called forth in our lives then we got to become perfect or perfected amen hallelujah thank you jesus in love And, you know, and, and that's a powerful, a very powerful statement, right? A very, very powerful statement um, in our lives and, and, and even for our lives, right? And it goes a, a, a little, um, amen, glory to God, thank you, Jesus. It tells us, look, love has been, look, perfected, right, among us. So we know we have to walk in this perfection, right, of love. And, you know, as I think about, as I think about this, this, this text and this scripture and, you know, as it d deals with, amen, glory to God, thank you, Jesus, being perfected in love. Meaning, amen, look, uh, we got to fully grasp the love of God for our lives. We, it, it, when, when fear um, comes up in our lives and keep us from birthing out the things of God, we haven't, we haven't come into places in our lives, in those particular spaces where love has perfected us, where we're in a place that we understand or we have a, 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 a for we can walk in the wisdom of the love of God for our lives, knowing that, you know what, if God has called this thing into me, that he has already empowered me, not only to give birth to it, but also, amen, Lord, to nurture and mature this baby so that even, my God, it can grow into full maturity once I have given birth to it. And so, um, to, to come to a place where we are perfected in love, that we have to come to places and spaces, come to places and spaces in our very lives. That we, we focus on God, that our focus is on God. Why? Because first of all, it is only the love of God that casts out fear. It said perfect. I think the text said, look, hallelujah, perfect love casts out fear. And so we know that God himself is love. And even as I'm looking at perfect love, how complete or how, how complete is your love for the Lord? How complete is your love for God? Because, amen, Lord, we know that his, that his love for us is like so unconditional. And so when we begin to walk in a, in, in a place in, in our love wall, um, with the Lord, fear just fear has no room. Fear has no room to come into our lives. Fear has 
no room to come and keep us from giving birth to the things in which God has called for in our life. No matter what the trials are, no matter what the tribulations or the trials that we are going through, fear has no room and it has no place to come amen and, and and manipulate us or deceive us to keep us from giving birth why because amen we, we're moving in we're operating in this perfect love guess what knowing because we trust god we we trust god in a place amen hallelujah thank you jesus we trust god in a place in our lives where we believe him that we, we trust him in a place where we, we believe in what it is that he's saying. And so we trust him in the way in which we are going or in the way in which he are leading us, even though it just may not be familiar to us or even though when we're treading in places and things of that nature, and 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 storm comes and the trials comes and the tribulation comes and all of those other great things that that position us to give birth that we trust God enough that you know what in the midst of the trial in the midst of the tribulation in the midst of the storm God I know that you have me you know, when Jesus uh, was on the boat and uh, with the disciples and the storm had came and Jesus was asleep and they just got all afraid and all of this other stuff and my God. And, you know, he was just sleeping. They running to him and, you know, um, you know, panicking and all this other stuff, trying to get him walking, you know, to want to come and tell him about the storm and, and all of those other things. Amen. I came and woke him up out of his sleep and like, Lord, save us. They said, save us, Lord. We are perishing. So they was in this storm and then... Christ, it was like, you know, and I'm paraphrasing right now, you know, he's like, they don't woke me up out of my sleep just because it's storm. But his response to them was, why are you fearful? He said, oh, you are little faith. So why are you fearful? You know, he was just telling him, look, you, you don't have a reason to be afraid. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Why? He said, look, I, I'm, I'm here with you and I want to be here with you always. He said, I, I'm your protector. I, I am the supplier of all of your needs. I am your shepherd. You shall not want. And so, people of God, we have to find ourselves in this walk and in this way where we don't allow fear, fear to grip us or to overtake us and keep us from giving birth to the things in which God has called forth in our lives. We cannot live and walk in anxiety and, and, and be panicky and, and be in terror, you know, amen, glory to God, and, and just be tossed to and fro and all these other things. And um, what, what I, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, glory to God. I'm going to grab this book real fast, amen, hallelujah, and, and have all these disorders, right, that we, I'm, I'm trying to remember what I called it. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm um, in the book, but move and operate as if we don't serve a God that absolutely nothing is impossible for him to do. Right. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Because um, he controls absolutely every single thing. He is in control of it all. And surely he has the power to heal, the power to set free. He has the power to deliver. Amen. In the majestic name of 
Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. I don't I know it's in the book because I wrote the book, right? <laughs> I just don't remember the name. Oh, it was spiritual dysfunction. That's what it was. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Um, but um that keeps us and get all these phobias and all these other things and, and it just keep us from delivering the word of God for our very life. People of God, it should not be so. It should not be so. And I'm telling you, if you guys haven't got this copy, the copy of this book, amen, you, you want to get a copy of it. It's Abortions in the Church, Divine Strategies to Spiritual Deliverance. You want to grab you a copy of this, amen, word of God, because it'll help you, amen, in your place of birthing, amen. It, it will help you give birth to the word that God has called forth in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. Um, hallelujah. Because it, it's it's no longer can we afford um, to be in labor and not have the strength to give birth. It's, it's just no longer can we afford to do a thing. And, and we shouldn't even be satisfied with that, people of God. You have been through too much trial. You've been through too much tribulations. You have been through too many things in your life. To come to a place where it's time to give birth. And uh, and you don't have the strength, my God, to give birth. And, and we're just rebuking, amen, we, we are rebuking that spirit right now, right? In the majestic name of Jesus, we're declaring and decreeing that you shall give birth to the things. You shall have the strength to give birth. Fear will no longer choke the strength out of you and keep you from giving birth to the word of God for your life. None of those things are even attached with fear. They will not keep you. You know, amen, glory to God. Um, the psalmist said, oh, the Lord is my strength and my salvation. Who shall I fear? Look, if God is for you, then who can be against you? Nothing can keep you from delivering and giving, bringing forth that word. Amen. That word of God for your life. The word says, look, the Lord is my helper. And I will not fear what man can do to me. It, it doesn't matter what they say. People of God, we got to stop getting in places in our lives where the labor pains or the contractions begin to take place. And, you know, our contractions, that's the trials, the tribulations, and all these things, amen, um, that, that come up in our life. And amen, glory to God, thank you, Jesus, to let us know, look, it is time the labor, the labor, the labor. It, you are going in to labor. That is the sign of labor. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. There have to be signs that labor is coming forth. And so with that, we got to stop shrinking back. We got to stop having a drawback spirit. Amen. Glory to God. When the trials and tribulations uh, come up. We got to learn how to, amen, just walk through the pain. Walk, walk through those things. Amen. The pain of childbirth. We got to learn how to, um, to walk through those things with ease. Take them with ease. We doing natural birth around here. Amen. Greater God, thank you, Jesus. We ain't taking no epidurum. We ain't taking no sedation, no medication, none of that stuff. Amen. Because we don't want nothing to hinder this birth, this mighty move that God is getting ready to do through you and in you. Like I, it is a season. And we are refusing, people of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm just declaring and decreeing over your life um, as well. Glory to God that you said have strength to give birth. That you should have strength, amen, to give birth to the very word that God has called forth in your life. Because surely God will strengthen us and deliver us. 
Remember this word of truth. I love it. It said, love has been perfected among us in this, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment because of he is. So are we in the world? I, I, I just love it. It said, because of, as he is. So are we in the world. And and, and and that's where, amen, glory to God, thank you, Jesus, where it said, look, you obey me because you love me. And see, for being perfected in love is being obedient, um, you know, even to the Father, being obedient to what it is that he's saying, lining up our lifestyle, lining up uh, uh, what it is that we do with his very word, in spite of situations and circumstances, in spite of the things that we're going to go through, lining it up, line by line, precept by precept. God, I hear you. I'm following you. I'm obeying you. I I'm not going to allow the, the restrictions and the limitation of, of society, of mankind to keep me from moving forth and birthing out your word in my very life because let your word be the truth and let every man be a lie and it's time people of God that we let every man be a lie huh. see many of us have not given birth um God, we we've died or our child have died in child in 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 in, in childbirth or in labor because we haven't allowed, we haven't put this place and space in our life where we have to come, where we allow man to be a lie. It's because of, amen, we, we have allowed the word of man, the things of man to be the truth in our lives. And it's been hindering us from giving birth. But it is time, amen, that we buy the truth, which is God's word. God's word is the truth. And it don't matter what man say. And when God's word becomes the absolute, the absolute truth in our lives, then we have that we can begin to walk in the freedom of that word. And in the freedom of that word, we have strength to endure anything that comes our way. Amen. To try to hinder us from giving birth to the word of God, to try to keep us from attaining the promise that God has called forth in our lives. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. We're just declaring and decreeing that you go going to know what truth is. Amen. The truth of God's word for your life. You're going to receive it and you're going to conceive it. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God so that you can give birth to it amen glory to God thing so that you can carry the word full term that you ain't doing you ain't going into premature labor and, and losing your baby amen you ain't coming to the point even a full term and ready to give birth amen and and you lose your baby in the pro in the labor process oh the devil is a liar because you have went through too much even from the way of old or even from your childhood to a Allow the enemy to kill another word of God from being released in your life, from being manifested in your very life. Hallelujah. Thank you to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Um, thank you, Jesus. The time is now to give birth, amen, to this word of truth. You guys, we're going to take a break real quick, right quick, right quick, right quick, quickly, 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 quickly. Um, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to take a quick break here in the church. Amen. Glory to God. Do me a favor. Go ahead. Go ahead and um, share this platform on your social media platform. Share this program on your social media platforms. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, thank you, Jesus, so that lives can be changed rearranged amen so that people can be set free amen in the name of jesus glory to god um thank you lord we're gonna be right back in the church amen in the majestic name of jesus amen amen hallelujah glory glory to god hallelujah in the majestic name of Jesus. Also know that you can call in in the church. You can dial in. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. At 563-999-1824 for prayer, comments. Amen. 
um glory to god and any questions that you may have in the majestic name of jesus we will surely be right back in the church amen in jesus name amen
Glory to God. We want to welcome you back in the church to the In the Church TV and radio broadcast where we are shining the light of God's word in the church on the good, the bad, and the ugly, exposing it all to the truth of God's word so that we may know the truth and that the truth shall set us free. Amen. In the majestic name of Jesus, my God, my God, 
My God, I, I, do, I want to look at, you know, just, just a few things, amen, glory to God, I, I know, amen, just, just this week, we will definitely carry um, this, just this topic of, of childbirth or, or laboring, amen, um, glory to God, or over to um, next week so that we can just really sit in this word of truth this word of truth amen glory to god thank you jesus i'm just here encouraging some people on on tonight amen glory to god to just say that you shall deliver amen you shall deliver you shall deliver amen um your baby that your baby shall live and not die amen um in the majestic name of jesus i know it i believe it i declare it and i decree it for your very life amen in the majestic name of jesus glory 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 be unto god i want us to go very quickly and, and briefly for a moment amen um just go over to the book of first samuel amen i'm and is this thing oh, okay hallelujah thank you jesus glory to god just want to make sure you have life um over here but we want to go to the book of first samuel let me go to first samuel here excuse me mm. hallelujah thank you jesus i'm um, going to god so we're going to go to first samuel here and we're going to go to um four chapter four chapter four chapter four let me get the text let me get the text mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um amen let me just tell you a little bit about this text amen as i find our focal scripture that i want to bring out here that i want to bring out here see he here over here in the word of god amen we're gonna find um Phinehas wife um she was pregnant now she was the daughter I'm sorry the daughter-in-law the daughter-in-law of of Eli amen as um she was Phinehas wife amen glory to God um thank you Jesus and so we're going to focus on verse 19 and 20 and the word said now his daughter-in-law Phinehas wife was with child due to due to be delivered and when she heard the news that the ark of the covenant the ark of god was captured right it's the ark of the covenant <laughs> but the ark of god was captured and that her father-in-law and her husband was dead she bowed herself and gave birth this is not the version amen this is not the version um glory to god uh, but I, i'm going to go ahead and, and read it that she bowed and gave birth for her labor pain had come upon her and about the time of her death the woman who stood by her side oh god we bless your name in this place the woman that stood by her side i'm gonna get us to the new living translation amen but the woman that's ooh, the woman that stood by her side where is it stood by her and said hold on she bowed herself and gave birth for her labor pains came upon her and about the time of her death the woman who stood by her said to her do not fear for you have borne a son but she did not answer nor did she regard amen glory to god thank you jesus i want to get a another version amen and i'm gonna look at the new living let me pull up something here i'm gonna look at the new living translation for us let me just get the parallel bible um let me get the text up here very quickly on on my screen amen glory to god um, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But, amen. So, here we find that, you know, um, she's heard that the Ark of the Covenant is um, has been taken. And we hear that she hears that her, her husband has died and her 
father-in-law has died and so um she found herself because of of the agony of, of, of the pain of, the, of the, the series of events that began to take place in her life that it brought her to a place of delivery let me find um amen glory to god thank you jesus Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. It brought her into labor. It, it brought her into labor, and, and the word tells us she gave birth. So I'm going to read the um, New Living Translation. It says this. Eli's daughter-in-law, the wife of Phinehas, was pregnant and near her time of delivery. I, I, I want to deal with that. She was near time of her delivery. And now her... Oh, and near her time of delivery, when she heard that the ark of God had been captured and that her father-in-law and husband were dead, she went into labor and gave birth, right? Amen. So it called her to go into a place of labor. 20 says she died in childbirth. But before she passed away, the midwives tried to encourage her. Don't be afraid, they said. You have a baby boy. But she did not answer or pay attention to them. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And for some of those that was here with us, amen, when we started uh, this conversation, definitely the last section, um, I, I dealt with the fear. Amen. Glory to God. Um, and amen, glory to God. So she was at a place where she had to panic, you know, when they was in a place, the midwives, and they're like, you know, don't fear, don't, don't be worried, don't, don't panic. And, and because of the, um, the tragedies that had taken place in her life, the tragedies that she, that she got of these particular storms, these trials and these tribulations, these things that came back to back, these events or occurrences, um, that was very vital. Amen. Until um, this woman of God, and, and as she began to hear the news, it, it, it caused her to go in labor. And so remember I was telling us early that, you know, um, the situations and circumstances, events or occurrences that take place in our lives to position us for childbirth, for child, it, it positions us for childbirth. It positioned us for childbirth. And I started this show off today asking us, will you die in childbirth or will you endure the pain and, and, and live and not die? Right? Amen. And so we talked about how fear. We, we we've we've had the conversation and, and and we've talked about this fear and how you know it can keep one from giving birth, right? Um, to the word of God and, and even to the will of God, you know, for, for one's very life, right? For one's very life. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. But we're determined that we're going to give birth. And so we're not going to allow fear to grip us. And, and amen, glory to God, due to the event, current events or the events that take place in our lives. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. But we're going to endure. We're, we're going to endure and give birth. And so I love it because I want to, a couple of things in here I do want to pull out tonight. And amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to look at some things um, tonight. And we're definitely going to look at some other things um, next week. Amen. Glory to God. Um, thank you, Jesus. I, I love this in the text. He said, look, the midwives try to encourage her. And so even, amen, we can have midwives in our corner. We can have midwives cheering us on. We can have, amen, glory to God, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. And we thank God, you know, I, I, I thank God for the midwives, amen, as, as I am one myself, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, glory to God, Um amen hallelujah thank you jesus glory to god so we bless god for the midwives right amen hallelujah thank you jesus 
glory glory to god because amen they are definitely there to encourage us so your midwives maybe your coaches and you know and, and things of that nature you call them um what you desire uh, to call them um your coach your mentor whatever amen and so we always have our midwives on standby Amen. Um, glory to God. Or our midwives in place and in position to encourage us so that we can give birth. Amen. Um, to what it is that God called for us to do. But this is the thing. The, uh, well, listen here in the text or look here at the text. Even in their encouragement and telling her, don't fear. Don't be afraid. Depending on what translation. You got some translations say, don't despair. Do not fear. Fear not, you know. Uh, um, don't be afraid, you know. They they they're giving her, you know. Okay, they're giving her um this encouragement, and she had multiple. It said midwives, right? And so that that was multiple midwives there encouraging, trying to push her and and strengthen her in the process of of this delivery, right? But she find herself where th this fear, this fear had gripped her in such a way um, 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 because of all of the news that sh the events or the news, the, the events that took place back to back, back to back. Amen. It was just simultaneously that 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 forced her into the position of labor. Uh, my God, but <laughs> she died in childbirth. In childbirth, she, she, she dies, and she dies in childbirth. Amen. Glory to God. What, whether we die spiritually or we die naturally, Amen. Um. Uh. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. She dies, and so, and she give birth to this son that she never get the opportunity. To even lay her eyes upon. She just carried this baby. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. To the point of labor. And die in labor. Because of the intensity of the car the news. The events that had taken place in her life. That it was so much. That she dies right in labor. That she dies right in the midst of giving birth. My God. And let that not be us. Let that not be us, because I just believe that there's people under the sound of my voice that, you know, we've been in places and situations, and amen, glory to God, thank you, Jesus. And like I said, it was near time, the, the time of delivery was near, amen, and you've been carrying this thing, and you've been carrying this word, hallelujah, and, and, and even nurturing the word, and, and when it came time to deliver, you didn't have the strength to push, to give birth, or hey, glory to God, thank you, Jesus, with the little strength you have had you pushed and um glory to god thank you jesus you you just died right in the middle of labor and so we have to look at situations and circumstances and come to places in our lives where we don't die spiritually mentally emotionally or even physically doing um giving doing um our doing labor doing giving labor or childbirth to the word of God and the will of God for our lives. We got to be determined that my baby is going to live. And not only my, my baby, I'm going to give birth to my destiny. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We have to come to those places in our lives. That the word of God will live and not die. And that we don't allow the pain of labor 
to consume us so much that we die. That we die giving birth or trying to give birth to the word and the will of God for our life. It shall not be so. It shall not be so. Hallelujah. In in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Because we're going to dwell in the secret place. <laughs> Amen. We're going to dwell in the secret place of the Almighty. Hallelujah. We're going to abide in His shadow. Because we trust in Him and, and because He is our refuge. Hallelujah. And in that dwelling place in Him that we have no fear. That we do not fear the fowlers. That we do not fear the arrows that fly through the day and the pestilence that stalk through the night. That we do not fear. That even though we see our enemies before us, but we see our enemies scatter and our enemies will not touch the veritable Saya, will not reach the very tents of our dwelling. Amen. Word of God, as we're in the secret place of God. Where peace resides, hope resides, where faith lives. Yeah, God, in the name of Jesus. Where we are strengthened with everything that we need to birth out this dynamic, this powerful, great, amazing word that God has called forth in our life to come to being, to be in a place of existence. In the name of Jesus, we have to come, amen, into these places and in, in, in these spaces in our lives. Even with being in this book and, and just going over just, amen, glory to God, thank you, Jesus, a few chapters over, amen, and, 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 and coming to even this miraculous birth of of um, Hannah, Amen. A woman who was absolutely barren, but she believed and she had trust in God. And Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And she was not going to allow that closed wound. Or that, that barren wound to defeat her. That even that trial and even that tribulation, um, amen, the, uh, uh, of just being barren, it brought her to a place and a place in faith in God to say unto God, God, I know, amen, hallelujah, that, that you can open up my barren wound and that you can cause me um to get pregnant and that you can allow me to give birth. To a son. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And so Hannah found herself in, in, in a place where she prayed to God from her sorrow heart, the bitterness in her soul. Then and she cried out to God and she said, God, remember me and forget your mate and not forget your maid servant, but give your servant a male child. And she said, and I'm going to give him back to you. And so we find her in a place a little bit further down where it says in, in, in 1 Samuel 20. So it came to pass in the process of time. I love this. In the process of time. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
that it was the process of time that Hannah conceived and bore a son. And so it was in the perfect timing of God. Just like for our conception, it's also the perfect timing of God for our deliverance. That's why it's a time, amen, an activity for, it's a time and a season for every activity under the sun. And so it is a time to conceive and it's a time to give birth. Many of us have conceived, but we ain't birthing. We're not giving birth to the word of God and to the will of God for our very lives. And, and, and let me just stop here for a moment, people of God, because if we're struggling with giving birth, if, if you find yourself in a place and you said, okay, I know there's some things in my life where I, I, I should have given birth to you when um, amen, glory to God, thank you, Jesus. And, and things just keep coming up and stuff just keeps stopping me from giving birth and, and causing my baby to die in the middle of labor or I, I may not even make it to labor. My baby may die in the conception stage, right? I, I, I may just have a miscarriage, eh, my God, with the word of God, amen, that I ain't even get to carry it whatsoever. And just when I heard about it, I, 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 I lost it just as quickly as it entered into my ear or the thought came into my mind or, or, or in my heart or if you come and came into a place in your life where, amen, glory to God, you may have started doing and moving and operating in the things in which God has spoken in your life. However, due to situations and circumstances, due to trauma, amen, glory to God, thank you, Jesus, things may have came up and caused you to have, uh, my God, either a Induced abortion or spontaneously abortion, either other, either one of those, but a culture to abort the word, and so it couldn't come to life. Or you may go, Bosiah, be in a place where you feel like you are having an abortion, but or you're about to have a miscarriage, or you may just be sitting and and about to have a still birth. Um, sitting on the things of God, the Word of God, uh, for your life because you're in a place of stagnation. You're not in a place that allows for what's on the inside of you to grow and mature, so that you can give birth to the Bosiah, to the Word of God for your very life, people of God. I'm telling you, amen, glory to God. God has definitely released an amazing, powerful tool called abortions in the church, amen, to, to help empower, to pour inside of God's people, right? So that you may give birth to the word of God and the will of God for your very life, amen. In the name of Jesus. I also do have a program. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Under our um, under our school. Under our school. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and, and it's called Delivering My Expectation. It's called Delivering um, My Expectations. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Um, glory to God. And you can... Amen. You can attend this course. Amen. Um, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You can take this program, and I'm telling you, this program will help you. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. From the beginning, from conception to delivery with the word of God for your life. It, it is a, a course that go along with the book. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. So I, I'm, I'm just absolutely excited to just even have put in place, amen, um, this course, amen, just for God's people. For God's people. So that the people of God can, can give birth. to the very word and the will of God for their very life. It is, amen, a, a self-paced program um, that you can take to help you give birth to the word of God. 
for your very life. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to put the links out about it in our social media, on our social media platforms. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It will be out. I, I just, it just came across my mind. It's not on the In the Church website yet, but I'm going to make sure that I get it there so that you can go and link over and you can get into the course um, as well. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, thank you, Jesus, because it is an absolutely powerful course. Amen. It is about a four week, but you may want to take your time. We do have it set up where you can, amen, where it's, it's broken into four different modules. But you want may want to take your time with each of those modules and, and thoroughly just go through each module so that, amen, glory to God, Thank you, Jesus. You construct your plan and things of that nature. And, you know, amen, glory to God, you also have the opportunity, you know, to reach out to me. Amen. Um, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. With any questions and things of that nature that you may have. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Um, glory to God. And, and I will do um, a live Q&A, a live Q&A. Um, once a month, once a month. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Um, for those that are registered. Amen. Um, in the course. Hallelujah. Um, thank you, Jesus. Because God is doing something great. But you, our modules are broken down to... Um, we have planned pregnancies, your first module. Then you go, I think I'm pregnant. Your second module, then your third module is preserving my pregnancy. And then you have your last module, my baby shall live and not die. And we, amen, glory to God. Um, thank you, Jesus. You can interact with one another. You have discussion questions. You have different forms of homework and things of that nature. Um, hallelujah. You you develop um Amen. Um, vision, um, profiles, and audits, and development plan. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Th so that you you know you can carry out your pregnancy and all these other great things, right? Amen. Um, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So we we just bless God, and, and we thank God for you know all the things that He has put in place. To help us overcome, you know, just various obstacles. Various obstacles that will keep one from um, giving birth to the word and the will of God for their very life. My God, in the majestic name of Jesus. And so I'm so looking forward to everyone that would take this dynamic course, amen, um, that will help them. I'm just always looking forward to God's people giving birth to the word of God and the will of God for their very lives, amen, in the name of Jesus. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to take a quick break tonight um, in the church, and so we will be right back, amen. Um, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In the majestic name of Jesus. Glory, glory, glory be unto God in the church on tonight. In the majestic name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Glory be unto God. My God, my God, we have surely been having a powerful time in the church on tonight, amen, in the majestic name of Jesus.
Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. That's one of the things I love about being his very own, knowing who he is in Christ. Jesus, my God. When we know that we know that we know who we are. My God, my God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Well, the things that we obtain, amen, the things that begin to manifest in our lives. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Um, glory to God. When the Word of God the will of God is just birth in our very lives. Amen. Glory to God. When you just know, when you know that you know that you know, look, Lord, I am yours. Amen. In the name of Jesus. When you know that, amen, then we can we can give birth. We can truly give birth to the word of God. And the will of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So, amen. The, the time, the time, the time, the time, the time. Amen. Um, glory to God is, is, is now for us to give birth to the, to the word that God has called forth in our life. If we do not have time. Amen. To come into a place in our lives where um, we where we miss the beauty of childbirth, we miss the beauty of giving birth to the Word of God for our very lives because of situation, trials, and tribulations, and all those other things of like. Hey, God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We're going to have pick up this conversation next week, people of God. So I do want to thank you for joining us in the church on tonight. Thank you so much for joining us in the church on tonight. Amen. In the majestic name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For, for being with us and walking with us in this absolute word of truth so that the word of God, the will of God can just like truly manifest in our lives. Amen. Um, in the majestic name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hmm. Thank you, Lord. That it may manifest in our lives in the majestic name of Jesus. Amen. And so we just absolutely um, bless God for that. It's definitely been a phenomenal, amazing, powerful time in the church on tonight as we've just been dealing with labor in the church. And I just believe that in, in for such a time as this, for your labor, amen, glory to God, thank you Jesus, that you should be manifesting because of your labor, um, the strength, the prosperity, amen, glory to God, thank you, Jesus, and, and amen, and the health of, of, of what you contribute, amen, hallelujah, things that you have contributed in your life, um, glory to God, to move and walk and operate 
in the way and in the word of the Father for our very lives. Amen. In the majestic name of Jesus. And so, with that being said tonight, um, dynamic people of God, know that your labor will not be in vain. As surely as you labor in the word of truth, that you shall reap and birth forth that word for your very life in the majestic name of Jesus. So with that being said, dynamic people of God, we're going to go tonight in the church. And we look forward to seeing you next week at eight. I'm sorry, 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We look forward to seeing you in the church. Amen. Um, in the majestic name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Um, thank you, God. Um, we look we look forward to seeing you um, in this absolute word of truth that the will, amen, of the Father would just uh, manifest in our very lives, amen, in the majestic name of Jesus. And so um, with that being said, I name it, people of God, we're going to go in the love, joy, peace, favor, and the anointing of our most holy Savior who is none other than Jesus Christ. And it is in his most holy and majestic name that we have convened in intercession and we have been empowered. Amen. Amen and amen. To God be the absolute glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> 